All right, so we are gonna make homemade vanilla ice cream, and this is super easy, super quick. Um, right here, I have some vanilla beans, and um, I'm gonna I have half a bean here. Then I'm going to get the um, vanilla seeds out of because this is actually one of the most important parts to making vanilla ice cream is to have lots of vanilla flavor obviously and vanilla beans are really cool because you can use them and use them and use them and use them and use them um, this one's a little dried out I cut half of it off and used it for something else But that doesn't mean I can't use it now. So I'm gonna, if you can zoom in, you can see the seeds here. And I'm just scraping them out. Again, if this is a little bit, oh, I don't wanna lose it. If this is a little bit fresher, it'd be a little bit easier, but it's not. So we're gonna have to do with what we have. You know, it looks like I'm dealing with a piece of wood here, but really I'm not. So there's the vanilla bean seeds. You can see a lot in there. And I make my own vanilla extract, um, which is what's in here. So this is just vanillas, vanilla um, beans that I did this to and stuck in here and threw vodka in. Um, I'm not going to use this today because you can. it's not quite ready. Still see through it. I'm going to use all of these chunks of seed here. It's not a lot, but it will be. And I'm also going to throw this in. This isn't going to chop up, but some of it will. Um, and the stuff that chops up, that doesn't chop up, I'll pull out. So I'm using about three fourths of a cup. Of, this is uh, organic cane sugar and I'm going to put the lid on and blend this with that seed try to crunch some of that seed down and then I'll pull the rest out so as you can see we chunked down some of it I'm going to take the big piece out and throw into my vanilla extract I'll probably take this chunk out too um, put some little pieces in there that's fine so to this, we're going to add one cup of milk, and I use raw milk. This is what makes the ice cream now a health food. And I'm going to dump this in here. And I'm going to use two cups of heavy cream. Now I don't have raw cream today, so I'm using the next best thing, which is organic. And two cups equal one pint. So I'm going to throw all of that in. And then I'm going to use vanilla extract. Now this is um, this kind. Typically I would use my homemade stuff, but I let it go too long and then refilled it. Um, you're not supposed to let it get down to half. Um, so you can still see through it so it's not ready yet. So that probably won't be ready for maybe another month. So I'm going to do a teaspoon. I might do a teaspoon and a half. I really want a nice vanilla flavor. I mean, yeah, just a little bit extra. And then to this I'm adding four egg yolks. Now these are for my chicken. Um, of course, these are going to be raw in here, so you want to be really um, careful of what kind of eggs you're using. But I'm using eggs that are from my chickens, so I know that they're healthy. So there's one egg yolk. Now, some of my chickens lay double yolks, and I never know which one. Look how dark that yolk is. That's awesome. Never know which egg is going to be the double yolker. Um, if I find a double yolker, I'm going to treat it as one yolk. Beautiful dark, dark yolks. Three, I need one more. So 
So I save my egg whites because when I fill this jar up, I will then make meringues. Um, so this is four egg whites. I got a couple of batches of ice cream to go. But around here, this will probably be a couple more days and we'll be ready. So I'm going to add a pinch of salt, literally a pinch, just a pinch, not sea salt, and that just makes the flavor really good. And I'm going to blend the crap out of this. So this is my ice cream maker. I have two. This is um, one of them. And the bowl here, the bowl here has been in the freezer for a day, or two actually, it just fits in there. And here's the little paddly thing that fits down in there pretty nice. And the lid goes on. And then I turn it on and I pour the ice cream in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Tester. Let's get handy dandy Dave. Oh, there he goes again with the fall. They always fall over when the food's really good. Okay. <laughs> scoop it out. I'm clapping. It's so good. Come on, scoop it out. Okay, so we go like Show me what you do. First. First we go like this really neatly and get all the nice chunks out of this little beater tool. And nothing is quite like homemade ice cream by the Dana in the Dana kitchen. Hey, Ab, Dana Valley help over here. The Valley Kitchen. We need Ev's help looking the thing. You're not gonna be filmed. You're not gonna be filmed, it's fine. Come lick the beaters. On film. It's actually, to correct you uh, lovely folks, it's called taping, not filming. And in fact, it's not even taping anymore because it's all, all digital. Out, right? 